Hello again, this is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Cervical Healthcare of Los Angeles and Carson. Uh, today what I want to talk about is uh, Parkinson's disease, upper cervical neck trauma, and how one of the precipitating factors of Parkinson's disease is some sort of blunt trauma to the upper cervical spine, usually 10, 20, 30 years prior uh, to its onset. Now, for those of you who have done any amount of research on Parkinson's, you know that the medical route is um, several different medications that help increase L-DOPA uh, in the body. Now, the brainstem, which sits right here, you have the head, you have the first cervical vertebra and the second cervical vertebra right here, which house that red area called the brainstem. There's a, a region in the brainstem called the substantia Niagara, and its job is to produce uh, dopamine. And when you have a lack of dopamine in the body, you tend to get muscle rigidity, tremoring, shuffling gait, uh, one of the terms they call moon face, that's expressionless, expressionless look that advanced Parkinson's cases get. But basically, it's a neurodegenerative condition. The nervous system's not functioning the way it's supposed to, and it produces over time this cascade of effects on the system, which, um, I think anyone who's dealing with Parkinson's disease would tell you they're not fun to deal with. Now, I wanna just briefly uh, talk about um, a doctor who's no longer with us. His name is Dr. Michael Flanagan. He produced a 21-page uh, research article, and the title of it was The Role of the Craniocervical Junction in Craniospinal Hydrodynamics and Neurodegenerative Disease. What the heck does that mean? The reason I just... Uh, spelled that out for you. If you Google that, you'll come up with a 21-page PDF uh, file that very detailed explains how the upper neck area here impacts the central nervous system and all the um, plethora of mechanisms that can be involved that can lead to some of the neurodegenerative diseases that people suffer with um, in society today. So, Let's just talk a little bit about the upper cervical spine, then we'll get back to Parkinson's and upper cervical care. Um, the brain stem, which sits right inside the first and second cervical vertebra, it's housed by these two guys, C1, C2. And uh, Dr. Michael Flanagan uh, refers to that area as the choke point. Okay, so you have all the messages in the brain, they're coming down through the foramen magnum, which is the hole in the bottom of the head, comes down through the spinal cord, and then at each vertebra in the neck, there's a spinal nerve on each side, not just the neck, actually the whole spine, that carries the information from the brain, the brain stem, down through the cord, out the spinal nerve to all the tissues in the body. Basically, that's what runs the show in the body. That's what controls every single cell in your body. That's what controls and monitors function, changes function, what needs to change function. And if all that's working right, you're healthy. I always tell patients, if you have 100% function, you have 100% health. If you start to lose function, you start to lose health. If you lose a lot of function, you have symptoms. If you lose a lot of function over a period of time, you have pathological disease, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, ALS, rheumatoid arthritis. And if you lose all function, you're what? You're dead. So in this article, Dr. Michael Flanagan addresses this most vital area of the human body, and it's the head neck region. So basically out of the floor of the skull, you have a hole that's that size, this is the top vertebra in the neck, and your brain stem passes down through there. Now this place is very important uh, because the brain stem basically not only controls dopamine in the body, but it controls, this. it's a seat of control for basically everything in your body. Postural muscle tone control, respi respiration, heart function, blood pressure regulation, thermoregulation, cardiovascular function, right? So you have a 10 to 12 pound mass sitting on this two ounce bone. You have the brain stem that passes out through the bottom of the head. It passes down through C1 and 2. And this bowling ball that's sitting on this poor little two ounce bone is held together by muscles, tendons, and ligaments, right? And so because of the nature of the head being heavy and it's sitting on this two ounce bone and it only being held together by soft tissue, um, there's things that happen as we go through life like car accidents, slip and fall injuries, those types of blunt, blunt traumas, because the anatomical um, situation we have going on here can cause that top vertebra to misalign, tear the soft tissue, it becomes locked 
and it irritates that most vital part of the body called the brain stem. And like I was saying, Dr. Michael Flanagan, he, he referred to this area as the choke point. And he refers to it as the choke point because if that top vertebra misaligns off the floor of the skull, it's in effect choking out the nerve supply to the rest of the body. And there's not just nerve supply there. You have the vertebral artery, which is these red guys you see coming up the side of the neck here that comes up through the atlas and supplies the brain. It's blood supply. So it's a very vital area of the human body. And if it has been injured by trauma, it can not only be the underlying genesis of some of these neurodegenerative disorders as Dr. Michael Flanagan uh, lays out in that PDF that I told you about, but it can also cause a whole host of other problems through the body that we see every week in our office from headaches, migraines, neck pain, post-concussion syndrome, musculoskeletal complaints, neck pain, back pain, all these things that can become chronic that people live with. So one other thing, uh, getting to Parkinson's, there is a lot of testimonial accounts, in my office included, uh, where patients have come in with sometimes suffering with Parkinson's for 5, 10, sometimes 15 years. And while some of these cases may not completely recover, by correcting the upper cervical spine, removing the pressure off of those most vital centers, the body starts to respond and is able to heal, mend, and repair to the best ability of it uh, uh, that is possible for it. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is the cure-all for every Parkinson's case, but I am here to tell you if you're suffering with one of these neurodegenerative disorders like Parkinson's and it, it would behoove you to get your upper cervical spine checked to find out if you have a spinal misalignment that's decreasing the neurology in your body and if it can get corrected that's going to allow the body to function better and you never know what can happen when this most vital area uh, is corrected. Uh, there's another doctor, Dr. Aaron Elster. If you Google Parkinson's disease and upper cervical chiropractic and whiplash, uh, she's published many case studies and case series on Parkinson's and relating whiplash type traumas and misalignments of the upper neck and correcting the upper neck to some of the recoveries uh, that are seen in many of the offices across the country. So if you have a loved one or you are someone who is looking for a natural alternative uh, to mainstream medical care that, and you're looking for something that's going to help your body function better, our office in Los Angeles does offer a free consultation. We have two offices, one's in Los Angeles, that phone number is 213-399-7772, and our Carson office is 310-324-6172. Now, if you're outside the Los Angeles area, um, you can give one of those two numbers a call. We'd be happy to find someone in your location um, uh, that does the upper cervical work uh, that can help you. So I hope this uh, information was informative and uh, we got one goal in our office that's to do the best that we can for our patients and to maximize their healing potential and their quality of life. So thanks for listening.